exposure. This is Keenan Allen. And this is Keenan Allen. These are Keenan Allen's hands. And these are Keenan Allen's hands. This is what Keenan Allen hears. And this is what Keenan Allen hears. Keenan Allen in there! Touchdown, San Diego! 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 In his first year in the NFL, Allen has impressed fans, coaches, and critics with his abilities on the field. But in his off time, the wide receiver works on a different talent, and he's serious about his craft. We ain't gonna stop till 9 a.m. If we can't take it out, baby, say when. Make it come over and over again. And I'm gonna leave it in when we do it. Oh, we can do it. My friend taught me how to play um, my 11th summer, 11th grade summer. Um, he was playing Beethoven. It sounded pretty amazing, so I was just like, I gotta learn how to play the piano. So this started as a hobby, but it could turn into something potentially more, I mean, as you go through your life. Yeah, definitely. That's um, it's definitely a goal of mine, to take it further than a hobby. A successful recording career may be in his future, but for now, fortune is found in his day job. Allen leads all rookies in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns, and is a strong candidate for the NFL Rookie of the Year award. Did you ever think that you would have this type of season your first year in the NFL? Coming out of college, I mean, I, I wanted to think that I would have this season, thinking I would be a starter and everything, but the way, the way it looked with uh, the experience that we already had with Denario and uh, Malcolm, you know, I didn't, I didn't really see myself out there as much as I had planned, but um, unfortunately those guys got injured and I was able to have an opportunity to play. Allen sees that opportunity, quickly earning the trust of quarterback Phillip Rivers after making critical third down catches and near impossible looking touchdowns. But the thing is, the world might have never even seen Allen so much a step on an NFL field. Because during a rough training camp that left him feeling like he wouldn't get a chance to play this season, Allen wasn't even sure he wanted to stay in the league. Yeah, training camp, like you said, was very hard for me. Um, I, I, I wanted out, to be honest with you. I, I was down myself. Um, I actually called my mama, told her I didn't want to play no more. <laughs> it's because I wanted to do this music thing. I thought it would be better for me, but um, I just stayed in there, kept praying, kept playing. What did your mom tell you? Patience. Keep, just keep waiting, keep praying. It'll come. And now are you glad that you had that patience? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Mama knows best, and now the honor of Rookie of the Year is in Allen's sight line. What would it mean to you to get Rookie of the Year? I think it would mean a lot, especially coming from where I came from in training camp. Rookie of the Year would probably be my best achievement this far, I think, besides making it to college. Would it be redeeming for you in a sense because you were picked in the third round after your talent sort of spoke to maybe you going in earlier rounds? Would it be sort of satisfying to say, hey, all of you guys that passed on me, you know, look what I've been able to do this year? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I tried to play with my chip, a chip on my shoulder just, just for that reason. Um, guys passing up on me three times, you know, it just I didn't, I didn't think it was okay. <laughs> Allen's goal now is to be consistent and show week after week that he belongs with the best in the NFL. And when he's not practicing on the field, he'll be practicing on his keyboard. Ooh, that's tough. You put pressure on me with that one. <clears throat> oh. The sound, um, it's, it's just beautiful to me. Um, I just love hearing instruments. Football may be Alan's job, but music is his passion. This is all love. Don't worry though, you'll still find Alan on the field on Sundays. And that is music to Chargers fans' ears.